When William Thomas, the hulking dude who beat all the chicks at the NCAA Swim and Dive Championship a couple of weeks ago, when he won, won, quote unquote, it, it became quite clear from the pictures of that event that he's a man. He's tall. He's heavy. He's got broad shoulders. He's got a big Adam's apple. He has other protrusions that were clear in his Borat jumpsuit. He hasn't changed a thing about his body. He's not. This is why part of me thinks he might be just a performance artist showing the absurdity of gender theory because he just clearly looks like a man. He hasn't changed his voice. The only thing he did was slightly grow his hair out and then he put a swim cap on so that didn't even matter. And the reporting from the establishment media couldn't bear that. It was too real. People would just see. They'd say, wait a second. I read in the newspaper, I heard on television that this man was a demure, delicate little woman. But actually, you look at him, he's obviously just a dude. He's towering over these girls. So what did NBC News do? When they had a choice between changing their reporting and changing the reality of the story itself, what do you think they chose? You know what they chose? They tried to change the reality. NBC News, the Today Show, got in a lot of trouble because they took an image of Will Thomas and totally airbrushed it out. So all of the features on Thomas that seemed masculine, on this is just his face, uh, his shoulders were even were kind of in the water, so it's really just the face. They just softened all of the features to make him look more like a woman. It was a really bad uh, airbrushing job. It was a really bad Photoshop job. Thankfully, thankfully, the editors at NBC are so incompetent that they couldn't do a good job at it. Let me tell you, if, if they had Daily Wire editors here, they would have, it, it would have been much more persuasive, okay? But they've only got incompetence over there at NBC, so it didn't work. You looked at it, you said, wait a second, that's not, why is it so, why is it so smooth? Why is the lighting like that? Oh, because when you look at the real photo, he's obviously a dude. So they have to lie. They have to lie every step of the way. They have to lie in their laws and regulations. They've got to lie in their corporate policies. They've got to lie in photographs, okay, because they are so dead set on manufacturing this delusion that we're all going to live in. This is, this is not a coincidence that we're dealing with this insane biological, anti-biological ideology at the same time that we're seeing a major technological revolution that confuses reality. We've got deep fakes. We've got very high-end video technology. We, we're now moving into virtual reality in the metaverse. And what the, the push is here for the left is to just reimagine reality. It goes all the way back to one of John F. Kennedy's favorite lines, which he stole from George Bernard Shaw, the socialist playwright, who put the words in the mouth of the serpent in the Garden of Eden, tempting Eve, who said, some people see things that are and say, why? I dream things that never were and say, why not? This line, which the left has used as a great inspiration for decades, this line comes from the mouth of the freaking devil. <laughs> this is the great temptation to live in fantasy, to reject the world that God has given us, to reject the real world as it actually is, and close our eyes and bury our heads in sand and just live in our own fantasies. That's something that little children do when they play pretend. Now it's the adults who are teaching the children who are telling them that the pretend world is real life. And that's extraordinarily dangerous. I'm glad you like that clip. Now what I need you to do is ring the bell, subscribe, get all the notifications. Also, if you can head on over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts, subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show, leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.